Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about Google Contacts and some of the changes that they've made. Alright, first you want to make sure that you're logged in correctly, so come over to the top right corner and click on your icon. Make sure that it's the correct Gmail that you're logged into. Mine is, so I'm going to click it again to get rid of it. Then I'm going to come over here to the waffle. Click on it and you'll notice all your Google Apps. As you scroll down, you'll notice there's one that says Google Contacts. That's the one we're going to be looking at today. So you're going to click it, and it'll bring, it, bring you to your contacts list. All right. Now, the change that they have made this summer is that they no longer call groups groups. They call them labels, as you can see right here. All right. So if you are thinking that you want to email multiple people at one time or add them into a group, say for maybe a math team or something like that, you can add a label to their contact and that way you can email them that way. Today I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. The first is by going into your contacts, which we are in, and as you move your icon over the picture, you'll notice that a square will appear. You can click on that square and it will check it. All right, you can add multiple people at once. So if I click two, now you'll notice up here at the top, it tells you how many people are selected. All right, now if you make your way over to the right side, you'll notice this little tab or icon. It says manage labels. By clicking on it, it will pop down a drop down screen and you'll have a couple options. First, if you've already created a label, so I've created this math team label, I can click that. Or if I want to create a new label, I can do that right here. I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to click it, and it'll pop up a little screen, and you can decide what your label is going to be called. I'm going to call this one JCISD. Then I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice over here on the left side that that new label has been added, and then next to it in parentheses is a number. That's how many contacts I currently have under that label. All right. From here, all I have to do is press the back button, and it'll go back to normal. Now I can double check that they've all been added there by clicking on the label. You'll notice that my two contacts are now added. All right. The second way is if you go back to your contacts and you're looking at individual people, you can click on that contact, and it'll open up their contact card. Uh, and then you can come up here in the top right corner, those, those three vertical dots that say more actions. If you click that, you'll notice here at the bottom, it says change labels. So you can add a person to a label here. Now, notice that you cannot create a new label in this spot. All right, it already has to be created. So once you're in your contact, say you want to add them to another group. So Kelly is already in my JCISD group, I might want to add her to my math group. If I click on it, you'll notice that now both of these labels are checked, all right? So a person could be in multiple label groups, all right? I can also click it to take it off and add it again, all right? Once you've decided that that's the groups you or labels you want that person to be in, you can click off. And you'll notice on the card, the contact card, now there are two labels underneath Kelly's name. She is part of two label groups, all right? All I have to do now is click off, click the exit, and she's in there. And I can, again, double check down here. Notice that the math team has one contact. I go there, and there she is. She's now added. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial.